Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to the Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. And we are finally here. It is Friday, 12 2107. We talked yesterday in the video about the NASDAQ having the run up and the SP probably going with it. They both did. And we got lucky enough, we caught the lows in both markets and rode them straight up. We held on to our SP trades. Because the NASDAQ was up 30 points towards the end of the day and the S&P was up a little teeny. So I said, well, you got to hold S&Ps. So for my Omniacs out there that are holding your S&Ps, get out at around 83. I was in the chat room a little while ago. I told everyone to get out. I've sent you guys a flash update. I hope you got out there. That's for the traders that stayed long from Thursday. We have a trade set up for Friday in the nasdaq as well as the s p it looks like it's going to be a buyer of dips again it could be a straight up day but it is friday december doldrums the scariest thing about it is you have the christmas holiday on tuesday so a lot of traders are going to out of town probably after the first hour of trading tomorrow so it could get a little ugly so I think if we don't get filled early on our strategies, we're going to cancel our orders and be done and wait until after the holiday for more trading. But there's something really good going on, traders. We, I talk about this all the time when it starts to happen. I call it follow the leader. Usually NASDAQ, sometimes the E-mini Russell, take off first. The S&P hovers for a while and the S&P comes running up behind it. Follow the leader. I have a couple of charts I'd like to show you now, which will illustrate that for you. You'll see how it happens and why. And then you'll see that don't fall in love with this upside because I think it's short-lived. Let me show you the charts, traders. I'll be right back to you. Okay, traders, what we are looking at is the E-mini Russell, the ER288H, if you will. It's the E-mini Russell contract, March contract. You have the, the head and shoulders I've pointed out for a couple of days. You've seen some videos about it. And you see this line right here. This line is the top of the left shoulder. Why I said a moment ago, don't fall in love with the upside, is because I would imagine that the upside is going to go right into this shoulder, maybe touch the resistance right here, and that should be about it on this rally. So... Yes, we like the long side. No, we don't think it's going too far because of this. And you have this neckline right here, or I guess you could call it the top of the left shoulder. And I think that that is where the market should begin to fail once again. Let me show you a couple of charts now about follow the leader. Okay, traders, what we're looking at here is the NASDAQ March daily bar. The NASDAQ is the leader. Look at this chart. You see it broke out of this resistance right here, this line, and it took off, and it's almost at our average already. Took right off, but it's not going to be that easy, and I'll show you why after the next chart. But NASDAQ is always the leader. It always takes off before S&P. Watch what the S&P looks like. Again, very much the S&P looks very much like the NASDAQ, but it didn't have that big run up to the average yet. As you see, it did not catch up to the leader. The leader took off, and it looks like the S&P has a ways to go. But... Do you remember this first chart that I showed you a moment ago? This one right here is the exact same thing, so don't fall in love with the upside. In fact, it's more like this. you got the shoulder, the head, this shoulder right here, and then what will likely happen is the same thing with the, with the E-mini Russell. You will run into the resistance of the left shoulder right here, if not, you will fail at the resistance up here. Either way, I think the, short, the upside will be short-lived. 
Remember that when I showed you. It does look like a breakout. We broke out of that channel. S&P is going to follow. That's NASDAQ and S&P. But in reality, it's just the head and shoulders getting ready to go test the left shoulders height. That's where I think it will fall out of love with the bulls and will come right back down. This is Friday, right before the major holiday. So you could get a straight up move because volume will be low. But I think you will run into your resistance in all three markets right up there where that trend line sits and where the shoulders meet on the head and shoulders formation. Okay, traders, so you've seen the charts. You see this follow the leader that I showed you. NASDAQ took off towards that average already. The S&P is all the way down here. It will likely do the same following the leader, but don't forget that head and shoulders will be there and we will run into that top shoulder and I think it will fail right up there. Keep that in mind. I know I say this a lot, but these head and shoulders formations, they look almost like a triangle. They're very powerful and they're still all over the charts. So here's what we got for tomorrow. It has to be done early. If it doesn't get done early, remember, we're getting out of this thing. We're canceling our orders. The NASDAQ, the ENH8, the NQH8, Green Omni, baby, we're going up. It looks good, and so does the S&P. Omni says to buy the NASDAQ in the mid to low 2090s. We bought them at 2054, 2055, 2056 yesterday. Now we're talking about buying 2090s. It's a nice run in NASDAQ. It usually likes to have two good days, so I think tomorrow will be another, but again, early and then out. On this profit objective is the mid to high 2120s, or be out MOC, market on close, be out by the close. So we're looking to buy it in the 2090s, and we're looking to kick it out if it gets into the mid to high 2120s. With the tail right behind it, the S&P Mini. So keep an eye out for that, traders. That's what we have planned. Make sure you come down to my site. Check out what we're doing. Stay with us. We'll be in the room all day tomorrow, making sure that we try to keep the markets in check. If you don't know where our site is, we're at www.livewithoscar.com. We have a huge community of traders there, traders. I say this a lot, but it really helps a lot of traders out there. Don't sit alone. Don't sit alone by yourselves. Come on down to our site. There are tons of traders here, and we help each other all day long. So come on down, traders. Get yourselves a membership. Join our site and see what all the excitement's about, because we got a lot of good stuff going on there. Okay, if you'd like to give me a call, please do 702-629-4755. My Omniacs today, thank you for all that wonderful feedback. I got a lot of really great letters from my Omniacs today. Thank you so much. I tell you, those letters touch me. They're really, really, really good. Um, they, you know, these guys, traders, men and women, they talk about how much they're learning here with me and how it's changing their style. And wow, I'm making a dent in their lives. It's fantastic. So thank you so much for coming down. Hey, I just want to say hello to my boys at the CBOT and the CME. I hear you guys been checking us out at the site. I hear you've been following the trades. And if you have... You see, we've been kicking some butt lately. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Omni. But hey, come on down, guys. I was a floor trader for a long time. I know just what you guys are looking for. Come to the site. Come check us out. I think you'll find that we are a great way to bridge the gap from the floor days when we all hung in the pit to the days of today when you're going to have to figure out how to do this on your computers yourselves, guys. I know what it's like. I've been there in many pits. Take my word for it. Come on down, and we will certainly help you come to the future with us. All right, traders, don't forget, uh, you can send me emails anytime. It's oscar at futuresanalysts.com. Send me your charts. I'll look at your analysis and we'll reply back to you. And last but not least, if you don't know where you found this video, we have tons of video out on our YouTube website. We have right now, what, 246. 246 video. Wow, we're getting there, guys, right? Almost at 250. The site's over two and a half million hits. People are coming out of the woodwork to join us, and it's a really cool place to hang out. 
All right. If you don't know where you found the video, you can find a whole bunch of them. It's at youtube.com forward slash futures analysts. Go there, subscribe to the videos. This way, every time we put one out, you get notified. You know that they're there. You can write comments there. You can mingle with some of my Omniacs if you're not at the site. So check out the videos. They're really educational. They will help you. All right, traders, that's about all I'm doing here. I want to go back out there and see what's going on. I would like to buy the dip early, as I've said enough times. Make sure that you try not to trade this towards the late afternoon. All right, traders, you know I'm coming up to something now. I say this every video. I tell you to say this every morning, every afternoon, every evening, especially when you're placing orders and placing stops. Because if you don't and you start getting nervous and those ticks in the market, as you see the ticker going and the charts moving, if it starts pulling you out, it pulls your emotions out with it. And you start making bad trades and bad decisions. And traders, this will help you, I promise. So make sure you say this to yourselves. And you know what that is? Stops are in. Emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.